Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today is Wednesday, December 9th. It's 3.08 p.m. I'm so behind. I have like four messages I want to bring to you, and I can't quite figure out how to do it best, but I'm going to start with this one because it's the oldest. This is from our, our brother, Chris Chapin, and he sent this December the 6th. So, well, that was just three days ago. I'm not as beyond. I thought I had it like for a week. Okay, he titled it, A Child is Born. Now, now listen to this. He said, um, I have something you may enjoy. I hope you find this well. I hope you find this and see if it is true. I believe it is. You have better discernment than me, laugh out loud. Well, on to what I want to share. And I, I've prayed over it, and now I, I believe I have the understanding of what he worded and why. Okay, so I'll move on. Well, I discovered something at my work when I was working yesterday, so it would have been on the 5th. First off, I am a dietary aid worker, a dietary aid worker. Now, I realize that for those who work in health care, that for those who work in health care, we'll be getting the coronavirus vax in America by the end of this month of December, as I had seen the news. Christ told me that I must refuse the vaccination for it is a spiritual death sentence for the soul. You must have seen the messages on 444 prophecy. No? Yes, some of them. Not, not all, but yes, some. He told me that I must... To do so, despite the backlash, you must mean I must not take it. Because to do so, despite the backlash, I will receive from my family and relatives if I lose my job due to not taking it. There's going to be a lot of that going around, especially for young people. Now on to what I told you about, I discovered at my job. First, some context. As I stated earlier, I work as a dietary aide. I work as the person who is to put away the clean dishes and cups as they go through the dishwasher. I put the plates on a cart I have next to me. As it so happens, sometimes water left on the cart from the plates and cleaning trays creates a pattern or a shape. Yeah, I got to thinking that's kind of like how clouds are. Well, here's the thing. You will not believe what shape the water became. Can you see it? Now, between that paragraph and this paragraph, he thought he had embedded the picture, but it didn't come through, so he sent it later. I'm going to try to use at least a portion for my custom thumbnail so you can see it. All right, because if it's too big, they won't let you use it. They can only be so many pixels. He says, can you see it? Don't mind the coloring. I thought it was best to do so for the sharing of this message. The water drops took the shape of what seemingly is mother and her child. Now, I thought to myself, thinking that it looked like a woman holding her child close to her face, 
as to cuddle it. As I saw that, Jesus dash Yahushua spoke to me. He told me two things promptly. One, the child is about to be born. He said in a few months, the child of Revelation will be born. I asked the Lord of what he meant. He said what I am seeing represents the woman of Revelation and that the child of Revelation is about to be born. He told me that I had received special knowledge that most do not receive. He said that the knowledge of this is but one piece of the puzzle and that we need to put the pieces together. Now that's the part that kind of, you know, threw me. Then he asks, what do you think of it? Well, I hope you found this as interesting as I did. Either I heard Christ or I am seeing faces and shapes when there are none. I think I'll go with the former. Ha ha. Just a little humor. I hope you have a good rest of your day when you receive this. May the Father bless you and what you have done for him so far. You may go and share this with others on the channel if you wish. I was hoping you could. Okay, my very first thought was like, in a few months, wait a minute, we're out of here any day now. And then I thought later as I was contemplating this and whether I should share it and Lord, what, what did he mean by that? The child won't be born for a few months and, and then it hit me. Let me pull it up. Let's all go to Isaiah. Oops, I pulled up the weather. They're side by side and they both have a blue thingy. And I always, I often hit the weather instead of blue letter Bible. Okay, Isaiah 66 verse 7 says, Before she travailed, she brought forth. Before her pain came, she was delivered of a man-child. Okay, verse 8, who hath heard such a thing? Who hath seen such things? Shall the earth be made to bring forth in one day? Or shall a nation be born at once? For as soon as, she, as Zion travailed, she brought forth her children. Shall I bring to the birth and not cause to bring forth? Saith the Lord, Shall I cause to bring forth and shut the womb? Saith thy God, Rejoice ye with Jerusalem and be glad with her, all ye that love her. Rejoice for joy with her and all that mourn for her. Okay, and you can read on the rest of that chapter if you want. But what it's saying is, before she travailed, before the, tribu the great tribulation, there is a birth. That's the first rapture or going outside of time or uh, transformation, whatever, were rescued. Okay, the bride the children, the infirm, the innocents will be taken off the earth, will be rescued. Now, then she goes into labor, all right? That's the great tribulation, the seals, okay? You're going to have the Antichrist come on the scene. You're going to have war, famine pestilence the economy of course will crash and change into the cryptocurrency or whatever the new world order wants it to be all right and then is the multitude too large to number and that is the great birth 
of the church. Okay, anyone who has accepted Christ by that time, got in their heart, healed and delivered of their demons, quit sinning, they've repented, they've cleaned up their act, so therefore their garments are clean, and now they're holy enough to go. We don't get completely perfect until we go, all right? But every time you slip up and repent, it helps you to become more and more mature. All right, so that's one scripture that proves that it could be why he could be saying to him that it's in a couple of months. See, we're only going to be down here a short while. And that's what the other videos were about that I wanted to share about. <clears throat> well, let me finish this one up and then I'll... Um, They're in the same category of subject matter, okay? That's what I'll say. So, um, now in in the, the water, I think I'll just take a picture of the mother's face and the arm holding the baby. And I believe that will... It, it looks like her hair is flowing... Or like if she were laying on a bed and she had really long hair, it's laying on the pillow. That's the way he added the coloring. That's what I'm getting. So let's take that and see if that will go up. And with that, I'm going to say I plead the blood of Jesus over this video, over each and every one of us and all our devices and our internet connections. And with that, I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.